For this exercise, we're going to use the Managal program, which we're going to launch right here, and we're going to optimize a very simple vertical antenna. So Managal launches, Managal basic, and we go to the geometry tab. We put in a text string, 20 meter vertical antenna, just to keep our thoughts straight, and we go ahead and highlight the initial cell of what looks to be a spreadsheet entry, where we define the geometry. We enter, we click enter, and right there it's going to head and put two points, x, y, z in the origin, and x2, y2, z2, the second point, the second extreme of our antenna also at the origin. So we're going to leave the first point at the origin, the second one will leave almost at the origin, except that we're going to go ahead and enter a parameter for z2, the endpoint of our antenna in the z direction. Now, the exercise that we want to do is design a quarter wave vertical antenna on 20 meters. So 20 meters divided by 4 gives us 5. So theory at first sight would give us a 5.0 uh, Z2. If we go over here now, oh, by the way, we don't enter loads, we don't enter sources. Sources we're going to enter in the next, next step. We click on the View tab and we see our antenna. Very dull. You hover over the antenna element right click and click on beginning of wire to put the source and as soon as you do that you get this little red circle showing that the source has been put there now we go back to geometry the element one at the beginning you've got a source of one volt so that's been done automatically for you you can enter it in geometry or you can enter it in view either way works now you click on calculate and let's select ground reel, make sure that we have our ground we leave alone, make sure that we have our radials, so this is, must be clicked on, and enter the number of radials that you have. In this case, we'll just go ahead and enter number three, and leave the radius of the wire the same. And then for material, we're going to change that to copper wire, and we're going to leave the height at zero, which means that it's flat on the ground, right? So now we go ahead and start and we see that the SWR shows to be 1.91 and the feed point impedance is 33.47. Again, if you go to the geometry, it's an antenna starting at zero and going up to five meters, which is what you have here. And in here you zoom out and you see that Managal has actually calculated a current profile, which is nice. Okay, now we click on optimization, which is what we're going to try to do to optimize our antenna. Here, there's a bunch of sliders, which we're going to leave alone. Gain, we're going to yeah, put to 0%. By the way, this is the left-hand side is 0%. The right-hand side is 100% optimization. Front to back, we'll leave alone. JX, actually, we can move that one to 0 also. JX, no idea what that does, so we'll leave that alone. SWR will increase, and match will increase to 100%. Now... Once we do that, what are we going to optimize? Well, the parameter we're going to optimize is, we click on this cell right here, and we are going to optimize the element, which is the wire, right? Specifically, wire position one. And what about that wire? Well, we're going to optimize the Z parameter. Okay, so the Z parameter on that wire is going to be what we modify, and notice that it defaults at 5.0. That's 5.0 meters. Leave everything the same. Uh, I know it's going to be do an overkill to go from zero to 2,000 meters for optimization, but it goes pretty fast. So once we've entered that, we just are ready to click on start to start the optimization. Again, we're going to optimize SWR and match, nothing else. And we're going to concentrate or we're going to ask the optimizing engine to look at the Z parameter of our antenna, which is right now at five meters. Say. Okay, so now we click Start and Save Optimization Log as whatever file. Nope. And right there we see that the optimization has helped us already. The feed point impedance has improved to 37 from 33. The SWR has improved from 1.9 to 1.4. So right here we have Geometry tab. And we notice that the program has actually modified our Z2. So it's made it a little bit longer actually 20 centimeters longer than the original antenna. So the optimization has actually told us, hey, you need to make this a little bit longer antenna if you want to do this uh, 
if you want to get these numbers. So now we're going to actually run it, start. The reason we did that is so we can go into the far field plots and, and play around with this area right here. So right there, it's, uh, our gain is 0.1, which is not bad. Let's look at an elevation of 5 degrees. So that's 5 degrees right there, so minus 6.8. So it's not a bad uh, DX antenna. Let's go ahead and concentrate on 5 degrees so that we can do the view at 5 degrees. So you see that the 5 degrees essentially is a cross section as the crow flies over our antenna, the antenna is located in the center there, and it flies right over it and it sees that kind of a lobe for a 5 degree angle of elevation. Essentially the crow is flying way over here and he's essentially just cut right through here. So the, the circle is not going to be at the very tip here, it's going to be a little bit shallower, it's going to be a little bit smaller, which is what this is telling us. So good antenna. And again, the idea is that the geometry now has been modified. The program is telling us, hey man, if you want to get this antenna to be giving you these kind of numbers, if this SWR and this input feed point impedance is what you want and all the other parameters, then what you really want to do is make sure that your geometry is this. So this is a, a quick view of the optimization engine in Managal. That you can definitely do more things in this program, but that's just a quick uh, get started. Hopefully this helps out.